lots of couples want to explore the option of egg freezing. Lots of single women want to explore the option of egg freezing as well. And I think this is great because the more you're aware of your options, the better it is for you to be able to make your own reproductive decisions. And the great news is that egg freezing now offers women many more options than they had in the past, which means you could freeze your eggs when you're young and then use them whenever you're ready to have a baby or after you get married or when you're doing well in your career or whatever else, which means you're no longer slave to the biological clock. The problem is that sometimes women have very unrealistic expectations of egg freezing because they're very poorly informed. And a lot of them will only wake up after the age of 38 and say, you know what, I want a baby. And I don't want the baby right now, but why don't I just go freeze my eggs? And what they fail to realize is that the quality of eggs starts declining. It starts declining after the age of 30. The decline is quite sharp after 35. And after 38, it's even sharper, which means if you freeze poor quality eggs, when you thaw them and use them, your chances of having a baby are extremely poor. But of course, a lot of doctors won't share that information. And unfortunately, once you're 38, we can't make you any younger. So we're happy to accept the fact that these are the only eggs you have. And we might as well freeze them rather than allow you to become even older and allow egg quality to drop even further. But the moral of the story is you need to be well informed about making these decisions when you're young rather than wait till it's too late and then regret the fact that you didn't freeze your eggs when you were younger because honestly that doesn't really help anyone at all and just causes a lot of angst and bitterness because you can't bring back that lost time.